Welcome to Naturally Savvy TV. I'm Randy. And I'm Andrea. And we're here to help you make natural choices for everyday living. So we got a group of moms together to give us some feedback on Aubrey Organics products, sunscreen specifically. So Kim, last week we gave you a bunch of products to give out to all the moms in the group. Tell us a little bit about what you thought about the product. What I really liked about it was the consistency and I liked the fact that um, it, I could see where it was being applied and it didn't give Thomas a reaction. It, it does have a really neat texture that's a little bit like a, sort of like a clay mask kind of. There's, there's definitely something in there, but it disappears when it goes on and it's just really silky and nice. So it's not, it's not sticky like some sunscreens I've tried. I liked how easily it rubbed in, and I, I like the smell. The children's sunblock has a nice scent. I like the fact that it's natural, and also for the adult version of the product, I like it for me because I'm pregnant, and I'm just happy to be putting something on my skin that I know is natural and is not adding chemicals to the, my skin, which is probably like the largest organ on my body. So what I'm curious to know is, what do you look for when you're purchasing a sunscreen? I look for a uh, high SPF in my sunscreen, both for her and for me, uh, and that's about all I know about suntan lotion. Well, sun protection factor is definitely important when you're looking for a sunscreen, but SPF only measures UVB rays and not UVA. So when you're buying or looking for a sunscreen, it's important that you look for a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from both UVA and UVB rays. I definitely look for SPF as well, but I also look for something that's uh, uh, gonna be okay for Tom's skin. He has really sensitive skin because he's so fair. He tends to react to most sunscreens So I've been through quite a few um, And have had to pass on them because they've made his skin go red and different things like that Thank you for bringing that up because you know what skin irritations is a problem for a lot of people Chemical based sunscreens contain ingredients such as avobenzone and benzophenone which are actually known to be absorbed into your skin Whereas natural sunscreens contain titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, which actually don't get absorbed into your body and just sit on the skin surface. These days, natural sunscreens are micronized, so they leave no visible film on the skin. All right, moms, no worries. You are not going to have the big white stripe like surfer dude on your nose. <laughs> exactly. So did you guys have a chance to visit the website? And if you did, what information did you learn from it? I noticed after looking at the Aubrey Organics website that I learned a lot of things about chemicals being absorbed beyond the skin that I didn't realize. I was always wondering about protecting our skin from the sun, but I didn't think about the effect it would have beyond the skin. I was surprised when I went to the Aubrey Organics website how many products that they actually make. And I like the sunscreen so much that I was, um, I, I would absolutely try some of the other products as well. I look for natural products and all sorts of other products that I get for the baby, you know, I, I, unscented, fragrance free, hypoallergenic. Um, and uh, organic food and uh, it's really nice to know that that option is available in a product in a whole other category of product in sunscreen and she'll be spending a lot of time in sunscreen it's just something that she'll you know the it, it, this is different from when I was a baby she'll um, you know we, we're using sunscreen on kids all the time now so if I want her to be outdoors she's gonna be wearing sunscreen and if she's gonna be wearing sunscreen it's great that there's a, a more natural alternative adding to that um, I actually use the uh, body wash and I've been using it ever since she was a little baby and so it's something that I already trusted um, as a product to use with her because it's it's completely natural it's vegan it's like so natural so um, so when I saw the sunscreen I trusted it and and didn't really have a lot of fears about what was inside it in terms of chemicals I have to say I was pretty surprised that there are so many sunscreens out there that have chemicals in it well, chemical sunscreens, when they get absorbed into your skin, can actually cause irritants such as Randy and Kim had mentioned, but they can also cause other things such as free radicals, which could potentially not be very healthy for us. When it comes to our kids, we always want to feel really good about the products that we're using, so I think that's important. So would you consider using Aubrey Organics products in the future? Absolutely. I really like both the sunscreen for her and the sunscreen for me. I thought that they were both great products. Absolutely. I would definitely buy it and, uh, and use it throughout the summer. Yeah, I would, I would buy it. It's, um, uh, it really works nicely and it's, it's nice to uh, have the reassurance that it's uh, not going to be harmful. Year after year I'll keep using it because um, it does uh, everything that I want it to do. So now we're going to share some tips with you to help you have a great summer and help keep you protected from the sun. Don't forget your sunglasses and make sure they've got great UV protection. And limit your sun exposure between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And whenever possible, wear a hat. And don't forget that even on the cloudy days, the UV rays can be strong, so wear your sunscreen. 
We'd like to thank all the moms for joining us today and giving us their feedback on Aubrey Organics products. And for more information on Aubrey Organics, please visit aubrey-organics.com. And for more information on natural sun care and natural sunscreen, visit naturallysavvy.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.